What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Avery, and lo and behold, look at what we're looking at. Uh, we are looking at the Platinum Blue Eyes White Dragon, 99.9% .9 pure silver. Did you know that? I did not know that. I didn't know it until I read it earlier this morning. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about this because we are going to buy this. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're going to say, Avery, this is $1,000. Now, I believe me, I, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Um, I was doing the math, and, you know, tax return season is coming up. And I feel like, personally, I can afford to throw a thousand bones at a card that is going to gain value over time. Now, why am I making a video about this? Number one, to, you know, tell all of you that we are going to be posting this on the channel. We are going to be showing it off as the one of 1,000 other people in the world that will have this card. Uh, and also, I kind of want to put things in perspective for you in case... You know, you're still flipping out about me buying this damn thing. When you look over it here and you see when does spring begins, spring begins Saturday, March 20th, and then ends Sunday, June 20th. You can pre-order in the spring, and then the launch date is summer. Now, I don't know how much faith you really want to put into there actually being any on the shelf come uh, summer of 2021, because, you know, if a thousand people pre-order in, in the spring then, you know, you're possibly shit out of luck. But, but, that does not mean that you cannot save until then. The current date is February 9th, right? And you look here at March 20th, you basically have about a month before spring rolls around. So, let's say you make $500 a week at your job. Bada bing, bada boom, in two weeks, you already have the money to get the card. But, let's say you got to pay off your bills and things. Well, you can set aside, you know, $100, $150 a week. Sure, you may not be able to pre-order right at spring, but that doesn't mean that you still can't set aside, you know, $100 here, $50 bucks there. Before you know it, you've got $1,000 on your hands to purchase this thing. Now, why in the hell do I want to purchase this? Well, the reason why I want to do this is because, number one, this is going to go to the moon to the moon ladies and gentlemen and if you don't believe me let's just go on over here to tcg player okay we're gonna click here and i'm literally gonna walk you through this entire thing because i want to show you what it is that we are working with you go on over to here and you type in uh let's see we're just gonna type in Yu -Gi -Oh. we're gonna start off like that right it's gonna bring up everything Yu -Gi -Oh related we're going to go high to low. Look at this. World Championship 2018 pack. We got four listings of these bad boys. And they're $3,000 before jumping up to seven, then jumping up to 12, and then jumping up to 150 k I think that that's a bit ridiculous. I would personally go to eBay before spending that much. I mean, that's a house in the hills if you catch my drift. But these things were nothing. They were not $3,000. They were still a good amount of money, don't get me wrong. But they were not $3,000 on release. The same goes for the Platinum Blue Eyes, right? They're going to be a thousand bucks at release, okay? They're going to be a thousand dollars. But if you were to hold on to this for, I would say, even a year, you will be able to very easily double your money, if not more. Uh, I was just talking to a friend of mine at a local card shop this evening, and he was talking about, you don't hold on to this thing for a year, you hang on to this baby for five years, and after five years, you're going to make eight to ten times your money back, because these things, they're going to be so rare five years from now. I mean, you're, you're going to be paying out the ass for one, and then you're going to be sitting there licking your chops while everyone else is price gouging each other at like, you know, five thousand, eight thousand, maybe even ten thousand dollars, and you can just come in and go. I'm gonna put this one on the market for four K. I made three thousand dollars. You know, maybe a little bit less because of you know, if you're on TCG Player, you got to pay them a percentage plus shipping and whatever. But you're still walking away a pretty happy camper. So yeah. Or if you just even want to hang on to it for collection purposes, there's nothing wrong with that. 
nothing wrong with that at all. And personally, in my financial situation, I can afford to do this. I've been selling a lot of cards from my collection. Um, like I just sold a bunch of cards to uh, a card shop in my area uh, just the other day. We made close to $200. Um, I also have a bit of a retro video game collection, so we've been selling things from that. I made some money from that. So we have a lot of ways to be making money here besides our full-time job that pays us bi-weekly. So keep in mind, I get paid every two weeks, so maybe you get paid weekly. So, you know, I have that kind of going for me as well. Now, is this still going to uh, <laughs> hurt? Yeah, it's it's going to hurt, and I may even very well change my mind before March 20th. But as it stands right now, I literally just got done doing the math before making this video. Uh, I feel like I can afford to do this. And keep in mind, I'm saying I can afford to do this, and I also want to buy a new car. Because your boy needs a new Dodge Challenger because his 2015 one is starting to get old. She needs to be put down out back. And uh, we need to upgrade ourselves to a 2020. I would love a Hellcat, but that's going to be a bit too expensive. So we'll just go with another Dodge Challenger. So I would say if you really want this bad enough, save up your money week to week. And even if you want to shoot for the summer launch date, nothing says you have to pre-order this. Wait until the summer. And then if you've got a good amount of money then just drop it on the card, call it a day. And you know why Konami did this? Honestly, my first thought, the reason why that they did this was because they're hurting for money really, really bad because of the pandemic. Like I'm sure a, a lot of people aren't buying sets anymore. Um, Blazing Vortex was basically ass, like other than Pot of Disparity, uh, which fun fact, your boy pulled a uh, AA Zeus, Seek Rare, not Platinum. Uh, or a starlight, whatever the hell you want to call it, but it wasn't a it wasn't a starlight or anything. It was just regular old secret rare. So we have that going for us, which was which was nice. We'll be able to make some money off of that. Um, and then also, I think like I was thinking because that they need some money, and then you know maybe they just wanted to put something out to the community. I mean, I still think it might be because they're kind of hurting for money a little bit with their sales and everything. But either way, I think that this is going to be cool to have in the TCG. Because keep in mind, in the OCG, they have a masterpiece series of Dark Magician. And I think the Dark Magician is going to be next. I'm not going to get any other masterpiece series. Uh, this is going to be the only one I get. It's just Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is going to be the only one that I get. I'm going to sit on it. I've got it next to um, some GBI. Uh, well, I'll put it next to some GBI Egyptian God cards that I've had since like 2003 or something like that, um, which if I were to get those graded, oh, if I were to get those graded, those things would be easily $500 a piece. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments. Uh, are you going to be picking up one? Uh, or do you think I'm batshit insane for going to be pre-ordering one? Uh, do you think that I just shouldn't? Um, I would love to see what the community has to say in the comments. Uh, because I do feel like that this is a very good opportunity to make some money. I really don't feel like that this is going to be something that you could possibly lose money on unless Konami, you know, reprints these and says, hey, we're doing another run of Blue Eyes, which I don't feel like that they're going to do something like this. This is going to be sort of a one and done. Here's your 99.9% .9 pure silver Blue Eyes in five years, sell it for 20 grand. You know, anything's possible. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribe. If you have not already, and also be sure to subscribe so that you can see us unbox this packaging of a silver blue eyes white dragon.